Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Carl E. Mundy, Jr., helped artist Susan Wilner and the cemetery's main supporter, Dr. William Putney, unveil Always Faithful. While veterans of the Guam Liberation laid wreaths at the markers, Dr. Putney recounted the heroic stories of these fallen Marines. The War Dog Cemetery began with Kurt, and both Jacobs and Kurt were injured. Jacobs would refuse to be uh, evacuated until he was assured that the Marines that he was scouting for would take Kurt to me and see if I could treat him. And I worked on him all day and into the night, and in my foxhole about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, Kurt stopped breathing, and I was so tired I put my head on his chest and slept. Major Tony, who was the Provo Marshal at the time, woke me up at daybreak and saw that I had lost Kurt and expressed his condolences, and I mumbled, what shall I do with him now? Major Tonis told me, you take him to the Green Cemetery down on the beach, and you bury him there, and you have them bury him there, and if anybody tells you anything different, you come and see me. They, that dog was a Marine like all the other Marines, and he deserves to be in the Green Cemetery, and that's where he's going to go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, started the War Dog Cemetery on Guam. Now I ask for a moment of silence. 